Hey guys, happy Saturday. Just hopping on just to make sure everything is working okay. I hope everyone is doing well today. Say hello as you come on and let me know where you're watching from because I love to know where my community and watchers are watching from. I am in Texas and uh, so excited to be here with you all today. All right. Okay. Okay. So uh, I just wanted to make sure everything was working. Uh, my time to start is 1245. Uh, so I am so excited to be here with you all today. Happy Saturday. Usually you see me during the week, <laughs> but uh, I was invited to craft on the craft train with some fellow creatives. So I am so honored and blessed to be here with you all today. And uh, so again, let me know where you're watching from. If you're new here to my page, I am so honored and blessed that you are here uh, because that is just crafting is my jam crafting is my jam and so i just want to you know just make sure everything is working here let me go ahead and get this uh for the next presenter uh guys i am so honored and blessed to be here with you all today hi erin hi veronica hello miss brenda um guys my name is tracy i craft here at country charm by tracy i love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm just like today's project i sound like a broken record but i love country crafts it is my Ah, just through and through. I just love country. I love all the rustic paint splatters, uh, you know, doodles, squiggles, happy dots on my letters, all of that stuff. And so welcome as you're coming in on the page. If you're watching now, there will be a red live button up here at the top. If not, that means you're watching on the replay. And I am so glad that you are here. Um, I do have the replay available on my Facebook as well as on my YouTube. So I am so honored and blessed that you are all joining me today. I, like I mentioned, I've been kind of, you know, letting my community know that I am uh, a presenter on the craft train today, chugga, chugga, chugga. And uh, so from the, uh, there is a group that you can, you know, uh, watch all of the presenters, you know, live, or if you can, you know, watch it on the replay, uh, because we have some very talented and very well-respected presenters today. And so that is the craft train group. Uh, it is a free Facebook group. You'll just have to request to join. They'll get you on that. Yes, riding on the craft train, Miss Shelley says. I am so glad to see you again if you're new here my name is Tracy I craft at Country Charm by Tracy and I'm honored to be here with you today um, uh, when I do my craft I will bend you down so that you can see my table so don't worry about that I do upload all of my videos to my YouTube channel and so you know it is best viewed uh, widescreen so that's why I do that to accommodate my community but I do bend you down so that you can see my uh, my table okay so let me tell you what we're going to do today guys I'm gonna share my version of the tin can pumpkins guys aren't these just the cutest let me tell you I know uh, you know uh, so many there's so many versions of you know pumpkins out there and really fall to me is pumpkins it really is and so let me show you real quick um i did this trash to treasure uh project a few weeks ago i do have the video on my page guys i love to do trash to treasure or recycle repurpose that kind of thing so i do have a video on this those of you that have seen it but if you didn't guys i painted these pumpkins but but the uh what i use is a cereal box <laughs> 
<laughs> I did I have it all glued down so I can't show you the back but it, I show you everything how I did it I used a Lucky Charms box my grandson had finished off the the um, cereal so I'm like don't throw that away and so sure enough the next day I made some pumpkins out of it so I do have that on my page as well as on my YouTube if you would like to see that okay but today we're making some tin can pumpkins and so um, last night I had made some um let's see what it, what's it called king ranch chicken king ranch chicken and so you know if you make king ranch chicken uh you know you have all of these different uh, ingredients you know cream of mushroom cream of chicken you know rotel uh you know all of that stuff well i didn't have any rotel tomatoes surprisingly i always have that in my pantry so i had to improvise and use a diced tomatoes and then the green chilies and so that is what gave me the idea for my craft today I'm like oh my goodness I have all these cans and so usually I save my cans to make like the smash can designs and stuff but um, I usually throw the tops away and so I remember to keep the top so that I can make the pumpkins that's what I did you know I just made the pumpkin so I'm going to show you how I did that so all of my cans today are just recycled cans so I'm going to go ahead and bend you down so that you can uh, see my table and we're going to get to crafting we're going to get to crafting so I'm glad all, uh, I'm so glad that you are all here today if it is your first time seeing me again my name is Tracy and my page my crafting page is country charm by Tracy all right so what I have here guys um, is just some different cans now this is just what I had uh, available um, what I used you know last night I had um, the I think this was a cream of mushroom soup I had you know used two of those and actually I would have used the cream of chicken but the cream of chicks chicken had the like pull top you know where you had and I was like ah that messed up my my jam so this was like a diced tomato and this was a green chili <laughs> and so I th didn't have any rotel so I had to improvise you know we all do that and crafting and cooking and all that stuff and so guys what I did is um you know to since I have 45 minutes I want to make sure and be respectful for uh you know the other presenters in the uh, craft so uh just want to make sure and show you my craft all right so what I did is I uh, I ran the cans through my dishwasher you know took off the labels and all that stuff ran it through my dishwasher and then um metal needs it's not porous metal is not porous so it need the paint needs something to stick to so what I'm using is just acrylic paint and so uh, what I did uh, because I didn't want to use a primer. I've been painting cans for so many years, but since chalk paint has come on the on the scene, um, I just gave it a coat of chalk paint, and this is just one that I just grabbed. It's just plaster. I gave it a coat of that to give my acrylic paint something to stick to. Uh, otherwise, I would have to use a primer or something like that. And so um, this is two coats of the orange paint, and I did my little doodling and stuff like that um, welcome everyone who is new thank you so very much I appreciate you all being here uh, guys y'all just make my world go round you really do so anyway this is just one coat of the um, plaster color chalk paint and so what I'm gonna do is I didn't want you know to me the most boring thing in the world is watching paint dry and so that's why I kind of prep these because I want to get into the fun part with you guys I want to <laughs> show you the fun part of all the fun stuff so let me show you what I did oh I I have these gloves that I got from my local grocery store and so uh, earlier when I was painting the uh, uh, the other ones I'm like I mean I have paint all over my hand and I want to tell you something funny. Usually I do not wear my rings uh, or my wedding ring when I'm crafting. It's just uh, just a personal preference. I know there are a lot of people that that do. But when I do do a, a 
do an event or something like that, I will wear my wedding ring. Well, um, a couple of weeks ago, I had um, painted some apples. And so what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm just giving, this is dry. This is a coat of chalk paint. I'm just giving it a coat of this Canyon Orange paint. And so what I do, I'm just putting these gloves on because I'm going to tell you why I had paint all over my hands a while ago. And then also a couple of weeks ago, um, I was painting some apples. Well, I guess I didn't realize that my, the top of my ring, I <laughs> got it in some red paint. Okay. And it wasn't too bad. It was just, you know, a little bit enough to like freak me out a few days later when you know, we were going somewhere and, and my husband was driving and, you know, I just looked down at my hand and, and I saw this red uh, on my, my diamond of my ring and I like freaked me out because at first it was like, I thought it was blood. <laughs> I was painting some apples and so, you know, it was red color and I was like, oh my gosh, what is all over my ring? You know, why is my, my diamond red? And so then I thought about it. I went, oh my goodness, I probably, you know, got, you know, uh, accidentally put my, um, put my finger, put my, you know, hand into the, uh, red paint. And so that's what I got. <laughs> I am so glad that you are here, everyone watching. Guys, we're just making some recycling, repurposing some uh, cans that I was going to throw away or recycle. And we're making some cute tin can pumpkins. I'm going to put it here so that you could see. Oh, I guess you could see, but that's what we're making, guys. I'm make a little, make me a little pumpkin patch. And so uh, I would have. All of these cans I I use last night when I made dinner. I made some uh, King Ranch chicken, so I had you know cream cream of mushroom soup and you know diced tomatoes and green chilies and stuff like that. Because for some reason I was out of Rotel. Um, I usually have all of that in my um, you know in my pantry, but for whatever reason I didn't. So so I'm just going to dry this up a little bit. So I'm using gloves today. So that I don't get anything on uh, no orange paint on my my jewelry and then uh, also it just kind of helped because I have to paint these cans and I'm a messy painter <laughs> and I get it all over my hands I just slop it on and that kind of thing so um, one of one of my things that I love to do is I like to take this and make that out of it. Uh, if you've been following me for any length of time, you may know that. And so let me let those dry and let me show you what we're going to work on next. Okay. All right. So while that's drying, because I'm going to put another coat on there. All right. So for my cans, what I did is I paint splattered it. And I'll show you how I do that once this one gets dry. Um, but I wanted to show you what I do. I didn't even glue them or anything. And also if uh, you want it, not you, but the person wanted to cre recreate it, if you wanted to make them, um, you know, heavier, you could put rocks in them or um, something you know heavy in there uh, but I'm going I'm not really worried about that so but what I want to do to decorate the top all right uh, let me tell you what I'm going to use I'm going to use some of these little tree branch stumps or whatever you know from the Dollar Tree they come in the little bag from the Dollar Tree and uh, so I'm just going to use some of those. All right. Now for the tendrils of my pumpkins. All right. I love pit berries. I love, love, love pit berries. And so I pulled this out to kind of show y'all. Um, like this is one from the garland from Hobby Lobby. You know, it comes on the, on the garland, the long garland. And I just untwist them. And then I take off uh, like, you know, this is the long part. Well, these are perfect little pumpkin tendrils and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I like to use these in my deco mesh wreaths. I do design wreaths. And so I wanted to kind of show y'all that. Well, 
I'm using, that's what I'm using is some, some tin, uh, the, the extra that I would normally throw away off of those pit berries. I'm going to use them for my, um, my tendrils of my pumpkins guys. All right. And so, uh, to make some, you know, like little tendrils, I have these, um, wire, wire curling tools that a sweet viewer, follower, and friend sent to me um, months ago, and they're called Wire Curling Tools. Now, if uh, you as the creator are interested in something like this, it's a set of four uh, wire curling tools. And so uh, in my link tree, which is pinned at the top of my page on Country Charm by Tracy, uh, in my link tree, um, I do have uh, the website where you can get these. And so the only reason why I say that is because I get questions about it all the time when I use them. All right, so it has a little slit in there and I'm not affiliated with them. I just, a sweet friend and follower sent them to me. And so once I learn how to use them, it's just a wire curling tool. You could also use a dowel or the end of a paintbrush, but I am a, I'm a gadget junkie. I love, I love tools, I love gadgets, I love all of that stuff. And so then it just curls it just like that. It just curls it just like that. So, and so they're different sizes. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that. It is what it is. Uh, but you know, I get questions about it all the time. And I do like to share where I get my supplies as well as where some of the friends and followers or viewers of my channel or of my videos can get it. Okay. So then this little hard part, I'm not going to use. So I'm going to cut that off. So. I should have curled up some of these already, but you know, just gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, hello everyone. Um, I'm a one woman show. So if, uh, if I will go back later and answer any questions that anyone may have, welcome anyone who's new. I do appreciate uh, any of my uh, friends and followers that are on here that if you see somebody ask a question and you know, please feel free to answer any question. If you already know, uh, I greatly appreciate that because uh, since I am on a timed uh, event, I do want to be respectful and also get all of this done so that I can show you the end result uh, because the beauty is in the details. I always say that and the beauty is in the details. So um, I have been crafting for, you know, a long time, probably since high school. And uh, I took art in high school and that kind of thing and really started, uh, I guess, getting into it, you know, when... I more when I became an adult I think and so I've been crafting probably about my son will be 26 in uh, December and so uh, I remember doing my first craft show when I was pregnant with him that's how I can kind of remember that uh, and so a friend and I had done some craft shows and then I got my husband into it and then she uh, went on to open her own business, uh, a t-shirt, uh, business in town with cute little girl clothes and all that stuff. So she wasn't doing the craft shows anymore. So then I, I got my husband to help me, you know, we did the craft show circuit and all that kind of thing. And so then, um, we did that for a few years and then, you know, it is what it is. So it just kind of, we just go on and, you know, time changes and that kind of thing. So then now what I want to show you what I want to do. Okay. So for like, uh, what I did for my cans, these are going to be my little tendrils. If you're just popping on, I just, uh, use them there. It's part of the pit berries, the long part that I take off. I just put these little still picks on my pit berries, uh, because I do deco mesh wreaths. And so that's why I do that. All right. So then, um, what I discovered when I did the, my first little pump making little tin can pumpkins is what I'm making today. Anybody can do these. You have different, uh, different cans, different size cans in your pantry. So anyone can do this. All right. So these are going to be the stems of my pumpkins. These little wood things came from the Dollar Tree, if you can find them. So what I want to do, I can't take it off. Um, 
I want to kind of give myself a little of where I need to punch my hole because I don't want it to be underneath my stump because it, it wouldn't it wouldn't go down all the way. So I'm just taking my cropodile. If you don't know what a cropodile is, it's a it's an eyelet setter, but I use it to punch holes in uh, in tin stuff like this. And so I can it has a um, it has a little hole puncher. It has a small one and then it has a bigger one. Uh, you can get these at the craft store if you're not familiar with it. Uh, if you, you may have one of these in your craft room, you know, because they've been around for a long time. So I just put two little holes in there just like that because then what I'm going to do is stick my pumpkin tendril in, um, let me get this. I need to cut off a little bit of this because some of these stems are a little thicker than the other. And so then this kind of like uh, sticks, you know, it holds my tendrils in there. So I can stick that in there just like that, just like that. Nobody's going to see it because, you know, it's, it's underneath there. It's underneath there. So there's my tendrils just like that. I'm not going to put them any closer together because my, my uh, pumpkin stump is going to go right here or yeah, stump is <laughs> my pumpkin, the, the, the top of my pumpkin. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just using a little E6000 as well as some hot glue to glue that down. Whoops. Hold that just for a second. And so we're going to decorate it. So that's what I'm saying. You don't even see, you know, the, uh, you don't even see that there's any space or anything there. Hey, Misty. Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Tony and Sheila, Ma uh, Maureen, Marsha, Judy, Valerie. Thank y'all, VB and Miss uh, Sybil. Paula, thank y'all so much. If you're new to me, my name is Tracy. I craft here uh, at Country Charm by Tracy. I love to share crafty ideas like this. We're making 10 canned pumpkins, 10 canned pumpkins. I do have a free Facebook group that uh, if you make these 10 canned pumpkins, you can join that free group and just let me know. Um, not let me know. Just answer the question uh because i want to just make sure that i don't have you know any creepy creepy people in there uh like you you'd be amazed at what i mean <sighs> i've had to take some people out that, that just didn't have very good intentions and so um what i'm using is my little crocodile and uh just punching some holes in there and that is what i'm going to make for my little top of my can all right so this is dry so let's go ahead and put a second coat on there and i'm so glad to be with y'all today if you're watching now or if you're watching later on the replay welcome <clears throat> whoops all right so i'm just putting a uh a second coat of the orange on there and then I'm going to show you how I paint splatter and uh, almost always I put pictures of my finished uh, craft project uh, on my page or all my social medias and so uh, because you know sometimes I add a little this a little that I think was this the Oh no here I don't know I can't remember but we'll give it a little we'll give it a little uh, extra touch okay all right so then that's my second coat so then uh, then now I want to add my little tendrils again I just use my little curling tools you don't need this stuff but a sweet uh, friend and follower Miss Jan Blackwell sent those to me and so um, I had to ask her I'm like girl I have never seen these how do I use them and she's like they're just little curling tools I'm like I have never heard of them before and so if you're just hopping on and didn't hear in my link tree it's in uh, in the top of my Facebook page and then it's also 
uh, pinned if you're watching later on YouTube. Uh, it is in my description. It is the very first link. It is my link tree and that's all my favorite links. And so I didn't curl enough of these. So today is the craft train uh, fall event. So I was asked to participate and so honored and blessed to participate with so many of my fellow creative sisters. And so in the description of the video is the link for the craft train uh, group that you can watch all of the presenters that are on today. Uh, you can watch all of the um, uh, cre crafts that were created as well. It goes all the way through tonight. If you're watching later on Facebook, I will put the links in the description box so you don't worry. Uh, I will take care of you. I always try to do that. Uh, I started out on YouTube and so that's kind of where my heart is. And so um, I'm blessed to say that I, I just reached 88,000 uh, subscribers over the night so that was a very sweet surprise uh, waking up this morning to 88,000 subscribers so I am so blessed and honored to have so many of my sweet friends on there as well I'm just using a combination of hot glue as well as E6000 I like to use the little small tubes I get off of uh, Amazon or you can get them in the craft store too, but I just buy a big old box of them from Amazon. And so I'm making the tops of my pumpkins. And so this is what my little pumpkin is going to look like, guys. This is what it's going to look like. A little tin can pumpkin. Just cans that I was going to throw away anyway. So I'm recycling them. I make me a little pumpkin patch. Make me a little pumpkin patch. Yes, I am going to make me a little pumpkin patch. And so that's what we're doing today. And so I just had, this was a... Uh, tomato can and this this was like cream of mushroom this was a little green chili can so that's what I'm saying there are different sizes if I would have kept the tops for uh, one of my taller cans I would have made a bigger pumpkin too I'm like ah why did I throw it what so now I'm going to be saving all of the tops of my cans <laughs> all right guys so then now let's see I want to make sure that I got these right okay so then to decorate, I, I got this little greenery. Does anybody know where this greenery is from? I, I don't see it anymore. I can't remember where it's from. I don't know if I got it from Hobby Lobby or Michael's or, or Joann's or somewhere like that. And I use it a lot and I do get questions about it. And I'm sorry, I can't say where it's from. All right. Okay, again, I will go back and read all of the comments and answer any of the questions. Okay, so this is going to be the greenery for my top of my uh, little pumpkin. Let me put a little more glue on here. It popped up and I didn't realize that. Okay, I might need to maybe uh, cut a little bit longer. I am making tin can pumpkins today. Anybody can make these. Uh, you know, it would be a great craft that you want to do for like a little craft night where, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot of uh, thought and a whole lot. Everybody has tin cans, you know, that they cook with or, or whatever so I'm just putting my little uh, let me hold it in my hand like this so just putting my little green green leaves like that and um, so just make me a little pumpkin patch that's what I'm doing today and so well goodness gracious this want to get a whole new one maybe he he didn't want to be on my pump he didn't want, he did not want to be in my pumpkin patch that's all right we'll just gonna put him to the side and we're just gonna get another one we're not gonna stress about that I mean if he don't want to be in my pumpkin patch he don't have to be he didn't want he did not want to be on the top of my pumpkin <laughs> oh goodness I try not to sweat the small stuff but whatever so I'm gonna hold that for just a little bit Okay, 
all right so then there we go like that move this out of the way so y'all can see all right <clears throat> So the next presenter in uh, on the craft train, chugga chugga chugga, is Miss Pat from Unique, and I do have her uh, her uh, website pin or her uh, Facebook pinned in the pinned comment. You can look for that. It's also in the description of the video on Facebook as well as on YouTube. I will have that. A lot of my crafting sisters do have a YouTube page as well. So I'm not sure if they upload all of their videos like I do, but I do want to, uh, you know, make a note of that, that there are a lot of my crafting sisters that do that and more getting a Facebook page uh, every day, every day. So thank y'all so much for being here. It's just, I'm um, so blessed to be able to craft with y'all. And uh, like I said, I will go back later and answer any questions uh, and that kind of thing. Okay, so then now this this is what I'm making, guys. All right, so <clears throat> to make the top of my pumpkin, so I have some pit berries. Uh, these came uh, from Hobby Lobby. That's my favorite store, guys. My favorite store. And so I'm just I just pulled it off of the little you know the little um, stem like this. And so, of course, I had to pull one that had the tag on it. Those, those tags are so hard to get off. <laughs> are you with me? Some re somet sometimes I can pull them off easily, and then other times I have to struggle with them. And I, I guess they need to uh, put them on there tight because otherwise they'll fall off or whatever. Uh, so I just cut off a little bit of that end, and then I just, you know, kind of half it like that. Now... Um, for my bow, what I have is a lot of different uh, tr trims. I have some muslin fabric that I've cut down and tore it into strips. You know, it just come off the little, uh, you know, fabric pieces like this. You know, you can get muslin fabric about anywhere, you know, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, uh, Joanne Crafts all of that stuff. And so then I just have just some different trims. Um, laces you know from the dollar tree just little uh, trims and laces and all of that stuff i just love doing this stuff if you've been following me for um some time you know you've heard me say this i just i can just piddle paddle with the best of them just like this so then i'm just taking a piece of fabric and just uh oops i want to put my pit berries in there so just going to make a little messy bow i just call it a little messy bow a lot of people call it different things. Oh, uh, Miss Jenna Lee said drop cloths also use them. That is great idea. Great idea. Miss Cindy, welcome. First time watching. Welcome, everyone. Hello, Miss Sonia, my sweet friend from Sonia She Shed Sensations. Uh, she is in the uh, on the event today. And a welcome to any of my uh, crafting sisters that are on this event today as well. Uh, I know Misty from the Crafty Farmers is on uh, on the schedule today as well and Miss Pat from Unique. We have just a total, uh, just a array of just talented ladies that will just inspire you. And everyone is different in their own way. And you know, we always learn from anyone. We always learn, I always learn something from everyone I watch. That's what I was trying to say. Anyway, so I just made a little messy bow like that. Okay. And so then, um, Another thing I like to use in my crafting is Excelsior. And so I've just kind of pulled some of this out right here. And uh, we're going to just kind of glue some on here. And you know what? This one is really giving me some trouble. It just really wants to come off. You know, sometimes, sometimes they just do that. This one, I, I, that's the second one that I've done. And it just don't want to go. Well, we're not just not going to use that. We're just not going to use him. All right. Hello, Beth. First time watching. I am so glad to be, uh, I'm so glad you're here. Hello, Urban Diverse. Hello, Miss D Denise. Thank y'all so much for being here. Um, I, like I said, started out on YouTube, but I was just doing pre-recorded videos. They are, 
Honestly, I was doing it way before there was Facebook Live or even YouTube Live, that kind of thing. And so I just kind of just been doing my thing for so many years. And then I really love to watch people craft in real time. And so I said, well, I'll give it a try. And so, you know, the good Lord give, has given me these gifts and talents. And I'm so uh, honored and blessed to be able to share them with uh, my community on Facebook as well as YouTube and all of that stuff. So we're just hot gluing that and just going to glue this right here. This one is the little bitty one. This is a green chili can. And guys, I put my little uh, doodles and all that stuff on there. So that, and I just, I didn't weight it down or anything like that. Just going to hold that in place a little bit because I don't know, this one's not being ornery it's like those children you know you have that one child that's a little ornery <laughs> a little ornery okay and uh sometimes i i do because i do love to um you know let you know kind of almost all the steps <laughs> you know what i what i'd use what i do that kind of thing and just inspire others to do uh, craft for themselves. Okay, so now we have two pumpkins in our pumpkin patch created. Oh my goodness, are they turning out so cute? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so then now this one is dry. So then let's, gosh, this, when I'm crafting like this, it just goes by so fast. All right. <clears throat> So then now what I do guys, I love to paint splatter. So what I do is I just get a little paint and uh, people who like to paint splatter can, you know, they do it different ways. And so I like to use a, uh, just a stencil brush and a stick. And so I just pull the uh, stick across the bristles toward my body and then put some paint splatters on there just like that. And if paint splatters are not your thing, that's okay. That's okay. A lot of people uh, that do like paint splatters, they will use uh, an old toothbrush or use their fingers. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Uh, and so I always put, I uh, always have a protection on my table because I am a messy painter and it gets everywhere. Yes, it does. It gets everywhere. Denise says, the doodles, paint splatters, and happy dots. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And so, also, another thing that I put uh, on, and just and it's just my preference, and it also is a protectant, and also it doesn't scrape, is I use this varnish. It is uh, a gloss varnish. Um, this is something that you can get in the craft store, as well as in my Amazon shop, which is also in my link tree. I get questions about that, so that's the reason why when I stress something, it's just something I get questions about, but it has a glossy uh, finish to it. That's why I'm kind of showing you that here. Also, it protects it. It does so it doesn't scrape and or so, so it doesn't scrape off. And so um, I'm not sure if I'll have time to do that for this one because I got a little heavy on the paint splattering, but that is okay because I love that. So I'm going to show you here how I um, decorate this one. Let's see. Here. Oh, he decided to go ahead and play nice. <laughs> it decided to play nice. So guys, if you're just hopping on, um, I, this are, I, we're making tin can pumpkins and this is the, the lid of the pumpkin, the little tree stumps I got from, ah, I keep calling them tree stump, pumpkin stumps or whatever, little, uh, you can, you don't need to buy them at the Dollar Tree, but if you don't have an option to have, be able to cut them from limbs from your yard, I mean, you know, look at the Dollar Tree. And so then we have just little, pieces of muslin fabric as well as just some different trims that we're going to use thank you miss denise um, for sharing yes the next crafter on the craft train is miss pat from unique and she always has something fun and and festive and just is a wonderful crafter and she is our sister she's up in canada so we love to support our fellow uh, creatives that find us all different places you know and just blessed to no matter where we're at in the world we just can come together 
There's nothing like crafting coming together. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So let's see. Oh, pit berries. That's what I was missing, guys. My pit berries again. I got these pit berries from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. So I just want to cut off the, this longer part. I will go back and answer any questions. And I appreciate y'all, you know, letting me know where you're watching from. If you, you know, uh, are from the States or if you're in, um, you know, another country, we just, it's, it's just really a blessing that we can share all of these different things. Um, Jennifer's watching from San Diego. Yes, the crafting community is the best on Facebook. Yes, and I'm so blessed to be able to, I was able to retire from my day job as a state of Texas employee um, after 32 years, 32 and a half years last year in July of 2021. And so I'm um, a full-time crafter and my goodness, what is, oh, that's not the one. This one is ornery, guys. This one is ornery. I don't know. There must be something on there. Anyway, we, we will, I will, I will correct him later. <laughs> I will correct him later. This is the one I was using. Uh, these are just cans that I, you know, was going to throw away after cooking King Ranch chicken last night. So they're, um, and the reason that I say, tell y'all that is because sometimes I get questions not that you're going to go out and buy that, but it kind of gives people the idea of what you can or what size, you know, if you're using something uh, like this. This what this one right here was a king um, cream of a mushroom soup because I made King Ranch chicken last night. And so when I was, you know, opening all my cans, I'm like, oh, I'm going to make 10 canned pumpkins. <laughs> So you never know. You never know, guys, when you are going to be inspired to recreate something. So I am making my, um, I'm making my, pump, I'm going to make my pumpkin patch. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. I am making my pumpkin patch. And so this one right here is really being ornery. And what I did, guys, is I just punched some holes in the top. Um, with my crocodile and that's what I put my little tendrils in uh, I just curled them these are like little leftover stems that I would normally throw away from some pit berries that I took off the garland and so I just you know put them on there like that and so we're going to go ahead and get this on here because I want to put a lot of hot glue on there Put it on there. Put it on there, Trace. We're gonna stick it on there. All right. So I'm so blessed that I'm, you know, able to craft with you all and just really make this my career and, you know, just use the gifts and talents that the good Lord has given to me and just bless other people with. Uh, just giving different ideas and, um, you know, for craft nights, I get pictures and messages all of the time. And honestly, the sweetest, um, most heartfelt messages that I get are people who love to watch uh, like these with the craft, you know, craft like this where I craft in real time. You get to know the creative a little bit better, um, you know, on a more personal level than just a pre-recorded uh, video that is just put up on YouTube or Facebook or that kind of thing and so you kind of get to know the person and so I get these heartfelt messages that say they're homebound or they're you know ill they're bedridden um, and they watch back the videos and they feel like they're they have a friend um, and I'm trying not to cry I'm sorry <clears throat> But to get those messages and just to know, that's why I do this, guys. That's why I do this. You know, everyone has their own preference of how they like to watch the videos, uh, either on um, YouTube or Facebook, pre-recorded or, you know, several pre-recorded or live crafting, that kind of thing. And everyone has um, their preference. 
But just to get those messages, that's why I do this. That's why I continue to do it. I continue to do my little crafting with and, you know, crafting with y'all. And I go through, you kind of see how I kind of handle my, like when things don't work out, when I put a lot of hot, a lot of hot glue on there. He's stuck on there now, guys. He's stuck on there now. Um, I have a couple minutes, but also what I want to do, this is one that um, I got a little heavy on the, um on the paint splatter but i like to add just some doodling because this one is going to be in my uh pumpkin patch as well the only thing that i usually like to use that i didn't use on these is my black sharpie marker um, i like to use a black sharpie marker just to bring out some things uh in there and so I still need to finish that pumpkin and that kind of thing so let me bend you back up I tell you that that 45 minutes goes by fast <laughs> so I love our pumpkin patch guys I do I love our pumpkin patch I'm not gonna be able to hold them all up I don't think so this was a tomato can like a diced tomatoes because I didn't have any Rotel for my King Ranch chicken so I had to combine these I had to get my little diced tomatoes and get my little green chilies but it worked out good because I probably wouldn't have had this I may would have found a smaller can but I wouldn't have had the top and so these are just little tin can pumpkins I know you know they're all over Facebook and Google Pinterest whatever but it's just what you do to make it your own that kind of thing and so I'm gonna make me a little pumpkin patch sign and put all my little pumpkins together like this <laughs> and just I appreciate y'all being here hanging out with me all of your sweet and kind comments I promise I will go back and read answer any questions that kind of thing again Miss Unique Miss Miss Unique Miss Unique Pat from Unique is up next in on the craft train so chugga 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 hop on over there it is pinned in the comments as well as in the description thank you so much for watching guys I appreciate you all God bless and y'all have a great day happy weekend talk to y'all soon bye